the collapse of first republic bank is the financial crisis far from over hi friends welcome to our channel today we are going to be talking about the recent collapse of first republic bank and why it may not be the end of the financial crisis on may 1st 2023 first republic bank announced that it was filing for bankruptcy sending shock waves through the financial industry this once thriving bank had been seen as a symbol of stability and reliability so what went wrong first let's look at the events leading up to the bank's collapse like many other banks first republic had been hit hard by the 2022 recession which saw the economy contract by 4.8% this led to a surge in loan defaults and a sharp decline in revenue Despite these challenges the bank was still managing to stay afloat until a series of scandals rocked the institution. In 2023 it was revealed that First Republic had been involved in a number of questionable lending practices including issuing loans to high risk borrowers without proper due diligence. This led to a significant increase in bad loans and a loss of investor confidence. As a result the bank's stock price plummeted and it was forced to file for bankruptcy. But why does this mask matter? Well, First Republic Bank was no small player in the financial industry. In fact, it was one of the largest banks in the United States with over 500 billion, actually billion in assets. Its collapse could have far-reaching effects on the economy including a potential credit crunch as other banks become more hesitant to lend money. So what can investors and everyday people do to protect themselves in uncertain times like these? One option is to diversify your investments by spreading your money across different asset classes such as stocks, bonds and real estate. You can reduce your exposure to any one particular risk. Another strategy is to stay informed and keep a close eye on economic indicators such as GDP growth, inflation rates and interest rates. By staying on top of these trends you can make more informed investment decisions and adjust your portfolio accordingly in conclusion the collapse of first republic bank is a sobering reminder of the fragility of the financial system while we don't know what the future holds we can take steps to protect ourselves and our investments by diversifying our portfolios and staying informed we can weather even the most turbulent economic storms thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video